while the end of the age may not have happened yet, we can trust that it is done. God's concept of time and place are different from ours. So when God says that it's done in today's passage, that is both a present and a future reality. God proclaims that the battle is won, the kingdom has come, and the new creation is replacing the old. God can say this because God is both the beginning and the end of time, of creation and of all things. God is, and so God pronounces what was, is, and what will be. And when God proclaims it, it is. So when God tells John of Patmos that he, the thirsty, receive water as a gift from the river of life, it is a reality in the past, present, and future. When God proclaims that those who conquer, who endure, will inherit the new creation, and that they will be God's children as God is their God, it becomes the truth of the world. Too often, we who believe live our lives as if these promises are yet to be fulfilled. But we are meant to live knowing that they are already fulfilled as much as they will be fulfilled. We are meant to live God's kingdom coming reality now as witnesses to the way God intends the world to be. May we be so bold.